The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Back-to-Back Champ. And alongside me, finally, as usual, first, we have the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. Still don't care for you, Scotty. That's okay. Glad At you, all. Glad At you're all. finally here, though. Yeah, can't, yeah. can't talk right now. Uh, Who's our guest? I know, right? And our guest, uh, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Uh, I would say I am glad to be back, but I would be a liar. Uh, yeah, I know. He came here by accident. Yeah. yeah. He got lost on his way home. So, uh, but yeah, glad to have everybody back. The OGs are uh, back in the house. So. Skating at full strength, they call it. That's <laughs> exactly what they call it. Uh, but yeah, we've got an excellent episode for you guys today. This, I almost oh. didn't make it. Uh, yeah, you almost didn't. Yeah, make I it. didn't. I almost uh, actually sat out in the driveway with the car <laughs> running and a hose going from my exhaust into my <laughs> into the you know the cabin of the car. Right. And yeah. Just gonna say, you know, I don't want to do this show anymore. Yeah. And you only had a longer hose. Right? I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you did sit yeah, in your in your that, car for a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I know. Uh, Goddamn! Don't buy your hoses at Dollar Tree. Folks. Ten right. foot my ass. That's <laughs> nine and a half at mm-hmm. best. Uh, well, we got an excellent show for you guys uh, today. Um, this, If this is the very first time you've listened to one of our podcasts, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And killing yourself. That's right. Mm-hmm. And and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, 90% of them are, already, are always targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. You know, I don't Woo. think... Any jokes on the show are targeted towards you. I think all of them are. No, I, that's where you're wrong because they're not jokes. Oh, uh, yeah. No, they're, we, they're, these are statements. They are dead <laughs> they're, serious. Yes, av- they're affidavits. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I will I will put my signature behind any one of those. I'll notarize it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, but we got an excellent show. We've got, uh, you know, some sports news. We've got the ick, wrong answers only with movie quotes, bad advice with Jeremy, and an overrated or underrated questions and perguntas with a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But especially since we haven't seen him in, fuck, it feels like eight weeks. I know. It's been like a two days for me is what it feels like. I know. Uh, welcome back, Derek Alders. How have you been? What have you been up to, man? Fucking, I've been up to everything. Yeah. Was it the I have... 4th of July? episode uh no the last time derek was on the show was whenever he was on with aj and jake yeah okay that all was three of us fourth of july fourth of july i think yeah, that's I think about so. right yeah yeah uh, so i have had not long enough no a lot i'm gonna go yeah <laughs> can't talk right now a yeah, lot. Can't talk right now. <laughs> that's still the best fucking joke ever all right go ahead and go derek how have uh how's your week uh, well, I've been busy. I had, a, I've had during during this time I've been gone. I've had a lot of baseball, mm-hmm. uh, comedy. Uh, my wife's birthday uh, was one of the days, which uh, that was interesting. We went to uh, Texas Day Brazil. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. You ever been to one of those? Uh, I have, but okay. where where was Didn't this you one? Tell us about going to one one time with a friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, the same one. Okay, and yeah. I and I, I actually sharted for the first time in yeah. my life at that one. <laughs> that nice. can't be the first time. That that's, was the first time. That's got to be information that we're just now getting because I mm. I would have made a much bigger deal about it if I'd have known it was your first. That time. was my first shart. Wow. wow. Yeah. And was uh, it during shart week? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every week is shark week. <laughs> sure, it is now. Yeah, yeah. Once you found out how much you like once, it. Yeah, once once I broke my anal hymen, that was the end of... Uh, Pop that dirty chair. That's right. Oh, God. Pop that chocolate marciano. <laughs> uh, 
A lot of people don't realize that when you get like black cherry flavor, or anything, that's it's what they're what talking about. Yeah, and it's maraschino, Fresh. not Mars, not the boxer, the cherry. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> but uh, so I took her. I took her there. We went. Uh, we're trying to figure out what to do because we got there pretty early. And after I decided my car was going to get wrecked with fucking clay. Ooh. Yeah. So I got. Uh, I got to pay a nice insurance deductible and get that fixed. Ooh. But uh, my why wife, did you drive through clay? Yeah. Uh, well, how else are you supposed to drive? Well, I don't know. On the road? And some people take the roads. Of course, clay is <laughs> probably a little easier on you in, in yeah, Oklahoma. Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I mean, you never heard the phrase all clay all day? No, no. I oh, have now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we were trying to figure out what to do. Uh, so the Brazilian Steakhouse is right next to the Penn Square Mall in Oklahoma City. Uh, we went to a different mall <laughs> first for because uh, there's an aquarium in that mall, which ah. was oh. awful. What, they got in their fish? Awful. No, they had stingrays. No? Okay, and yeah. and, and uh, two sharks, I think. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Fish. It would be cool if I was a child, but it wasn't worth thirty bucks a person and a thousand dollar deductible. Yikes! So <clears throat> that was for the car. Yeah. Uh, sure. So. Oh, you didn't have to pay insurance on the fish. No, no, <laughs> no. I had to sign a waiver nice. <laughs> in case I decided I wanted to pick one up and fucking stab somebody with a stingray. You really wanted to protect that entry fee. Yeah, I, so. What I really wanted to do was get vengeance for Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So I was, I was actually uh, kicked out for punching the stingray. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Was it like in in uh, seafood restaurants where you pick out your own lobster? <laughs> yeah. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just cut him up. Throw him in a pot. I just looked at it. It was like. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you guys listen. That was really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're watching, you get it. If you were just listening, no idea. Uh, but so we left that mall and went to the other mall because they were like six miles apart. Okay. And so we finally get to dinner and by God, it did it again. You, you shart I, did, I didn't I did not shart I will tell you okay. I did not shart but I got like a quarter of the way through dinner and was like fuck I gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> and so I went and just destroyed it right <laughs> and then my wife when I get back to the table like 10 minutes later she's like I gotta use the restroom <laughs> and it got her oh, right wow. right wow yeah both of us so uh one thing i've learned i'm still gonna eat there but i'm gonna have hotel <laughs> uh preferably in that mall <laughs> and <laughs> and um it, it did both it got both of us on the way back we were uh i was like i'm gonna stop and get gas before we go home uh-huh and uh I, my car takes premium so the first gas station i stopped at yeah. uh no premium okay mm. second Second one uh, had only ethanol-free premium, which was two dollars higher a gallon than regular premium. Ah, wow! So that yeah, was a no. Pure. Uh huh. Yeah. So then I went to a Lowe's, and or Loves Lowe's. I keep saying Lowe's. I wanted to fight a guy did in the parking buy, lot. Did you buy a gas can? <laughs> yeah. I bit. I bit a guy. We, uh, we bought a fucking mower and rode it the whole goddamn way. That's right. Because that'll take ethanol-free. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fuck that Japanese shit. Craftsman or nothing. Damn right. So, so actually, Lowe's, it's Troy built. Troy yeah. built that motherfucker with his bare hands. Damn right he did, and it looks like it, too. Yes. So uh, so I went to Love's, and as I'm pumping gas in Love's, because they had the good shit, right, uh -huh. all of a sudden I'm like, oh, no, I've got to go again. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, my wife's already in there going again. Gas so, station shit in the yeah. past. <laughs> so I'm duck walking to the goddamn uh -huh. bathroom. And I walk in the bathroom, and I mean, my, you couldn't have got a fucking nickel between my ass cheeks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> was it coming out as you were sitting down? It, no, <laughs> no, but the worst part is there's a guy in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, uh, cleaning the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to start over, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. He had, he had just gotten finished, oh, and he's still in there, and that's just me and him. And I just walk into the stall, and I'm like, oh, cool. The floor is still kind of – you can tell they've like just uh -huh. mopped and everything, and it smells like cleaner. It did sure. it for, for a second. Yeah. It did. And all of a sudden, my asshole is playing the brown notes in the bowl, right? Sure. And – and you ever shit so bad you got to wipe your back? Yeah, yeah. That that kind of happened uh, to where I don't think I had any waste left in my body. It looked right. like my asshole was full of snot. Ah. Like that, that is what happened. 
And, That's disgusting. Yeah. Did you at and, least thank that cleaning guy for his service? <laughs> oh, I'm not done. So uh, I, I go to wash my hands, and I'm thinking, this guy's gone. He's got to uh-huh. be gone. The bathroom's clean. It's fucking sp- was spotless. <laughs> <laughs> and he, wa- I walk out of the stall, and I'm washing my hands, and I look in the mirror as I'm washing my hands, and there he is. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he just kind of does this shit, like, oh, God. and then walks right into the stall I just <laughs> walked out of. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Did you at least give him a couple of bucks? <laughs> no, no, Dude, no. Like an attendant? I think I left him a kernel or two. <laughs> okay, okay, great, great. <laughs> Yeah, that... Uh, oh, wow. So this <laughs> restaurant for you is like Menards is for me. <laughs> you had to shit every time at Menards? Yeah, I call it the Menards magic. And uh, <laughs> two things are guaranteed to happen when I go to Menards. One, I'm going to save big money. And <laughs> always. When you, only when always, you shop Menards. At Menards. Yeah. And the other is that I will have to poop. Yeah. Every yeah. fucking time. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. So that was, uh, that was something. And then the other story... Oh, and by the way, we're on our way back. Uh, what and my what, just out of curiosity, what is it about the food there that you think does it to you? I'm is guessing because it it's, it's, it's all generally meat. meat doesn't do that. It's all meat. It's all medium rare. Uh huh. So I'm wondering if it's something like that, and probably they use certain seasonings probably uh, on it. It's got to be the seasonings because be, yeah. generally meat binds you up. Yeah. yeah. So we're on our way back, <laughs> and my wife's like, kind of gives me this dirty look, uh-huh. and she's like, "Did you fucking fart?" And I looked at her and I said, no, I don't trust that right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then the next day, uh, where she's kind of trying to be cute. And she grabs my butt. And I was like, careful, you might get your fingers blown off. <laughs> like that, that, you will walk out of here like yeah. Jason Pierre Paul. <laughs> so oh, the other loaded gun there, baby. <laughs> the other story that happened was uh, we were in Texas uh, for a friend of mine's 40th birthday a couple okay. of weeks ago. All right. And, uh, Happy birthday to him. He's uh, one of my best friends. We went to a speakeasy, which is down in uh, Wichita Falls, which is a shithole, but that speakeasy was pretty cool. Okay. I feel bad for the bartender because they have all, like all specialty cocktails, so it mm-hmm. took her like 35, 40 minutes to make 12 people's drinks. Oh, that's Because nice. there's so much that goes into them, right? Right. But we're sitting at the speakeasy, and it, it's called the speakeasy. And if you are in Wichita Falls, it's a really good fucking place, and you should check it out. Um, my wife looks at me, and she goes, honey, I just I just got a text message. And I go, okay. She goes, I have no idea who this is from. And I said, oh, give me your phone. <laughs> so we had another moment. Oh, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I had yeah. a con- I had a full-blown conversation. I like these. Nice. Uh, the, the guy texts. Uh, it's a California area code. Oh. Mm. I'm assuming this is a guy. Okay. Uh, he said, I made a delicious steak. Would you like to taste it together? <laughs> right? Because How did he know that's that not, you were full of steak? <laughs> that, well, not anymore. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> right? This was a week later. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, or two right. weeks later. It was two weeks later. But oh. he, that, that was his thing. And I forgot that's, so much goddamn time has passed. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's not fucking creepy at all. You know what I mean? Not at that's all. like oh. something that Anthony Hopkins would say, like with some sure. Keontae. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> like, Fava shit, beans. Right? So uh, he says, I, ma- I made a delicious steak. Would you like to taste it together? And I said, give me your phone. <laughs> and so I responded and I said, I hope it's not a sirloin. I hate sirloins. They're for poor people. What did you season it with? <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, what's going on here? Are you John? I said, no, it's Gordon Ramsay. And if the middle of that steak isn't pinker than a salmon's <laughs> pussy, then you're fired. <laughs> So then he goes, LOL, who do you think can fire me? And I'm like, ah, I got to keep this going. I don't just want uh-huh. to be like, Dan, I'm not going to do that. Sure. So I was like, uh, you know, the jerk we both hate who shall remain nameless. He's like Beetlejuice. If you speak his name three times, he might appear. How is the stake? He goes, I am my own employer. Mm-hmm. I think I can only fire myself. And I was like, fuck, I got to dig myself out of this one, right? <laughs> so I said, ah, oh, you got me there unless you're schizo. What do you got going on this evening? And then he goes, I'm sorry. Maybe my fat finger made a mistake. I'm sorry. I think this is John. I said, I can't fool you to save my life. You've got me. I still want to know how the steak turned out. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I'm not going to ask again, I'm motherfucker. Not, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking on. How was it? And he goes, it is now being digested by my stomach. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. I said, nice. Nothing better than a home-cooked steak. Way better than what I just ate. (laughs) 
what did you eat? I was waiting for that one. Uh-huh. I said, I just had a burger that had like four hairs in it. I complained to the waitress, which I never do. She told me it couldn't be from the cook. He's bald. Of course, now my mind is all over the place. I think it could have been pubes in my burger. Pubes! I think I'm going to throw up. I haven't had pubes in my mouth since high school, and that was at least my decision at the time. He said, maybe that's not a hamburger, but a stool just recovered from the toilet. So I think he's he's got me now. Yeah. Right. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to have one more shot at it. Okay. And I said, uh, pretty sure I know the difference there, thanks to my nephew. Little bastard thought he was funny and played a joke on me with my toothbrush. Needless to say, I sniff before I brush now, both teeth and hair. You can never be too careful. <laughs> okay. So she wouldn't let me text him the next morning because I was going to go on about the steak some more. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is it poop yet? <laughs> <laughs> So I was super pleased about that. Sure. Yeah. That's always fun. Yeah. I only get uh, random texts from, like, people who want to know how you're going to vote on an upcoming issue. Or, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I got one the other day that said, do you have three minutes to fill out a survey? And I said, sorry, I only have two. And... <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> they stopped. It wasn't a bot. That's fantastic. That's yeah. great. All right, was that that you? Yeah, that was okay. that was the two two interesting things that okay. happened outside of the no hitter that I missed. All right, well, I, I thought uh, that was a home game. It was. It was. But and he I, had a, he had I a, had a work thing, oh, so okay. I couldn't gotcha, do. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, over this last week, uh, you haven't been on the show the last uh, couple of times, so the last two weeks uh, I've had have been absolutely awful. But this week was fucking epic, and it was great. God damn it. Uh, I really yes. like the other two weeks better. No, no. You missed out, man. You missed out. Uh, first things first, uh, we are recording on Monday, and uh, it is uh, my wife's birthday, so I want to give her a shout-out. Love, uh, love, love you, honey. Um, to which uh, she's going out with uh, a friend for dinner while we're doing this podcast uh, because, you know, the podcast takes uh, priority. That's, that's the rule, right? No, I actually yeah. went to dinner with my... We shit ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you, you guys <laughs> should be strapped to a goddamn toilet seat <laughs> right now. Yeah. Right fucking now. <laughs> Derek would rather shit himself than come to this podcast. Absolutely. <laughs> I wore my shit in slacks, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Plastic lined. Now. Which, speaking of shit in slacks, it sounds like you went to a wedding, Scotty. I did. I did. I went to my best friend's wedding. Um I had probably one of the best times at a wedding. I hate going to weddings, but uh, the time after the wedding is fun. Yeah, the wedding though, it, the wedding was really special. I mean, this is one of my oldest friends. We've been best friends since we were six years old. It also just so happens to be, uh, or Michi just so happens to be a black guy. So there's break uh, dancing and stuff. Uh, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, I, me, my wife, and my parents. Uh, that's that's how long we've known each other and hung out with each other. It's been it's that long. Um, and we were the only white people at this wedding. So I texted Derek. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting this now. When you, okay, when you had said that up there, only white people, I thought only white people came to the wedding. No. <laughs> no. And I was like, well, you should have felt right at home then. But <laughs> okay, you're the only white people there. Okay. Come on, Jeremy. You know I'm hood. Uh, but I text that to Derek uh, and kind of left. That's the way I describe Scotty. He's so fucking hood. <laughs> I am. Uh, and you know, Scotty. Derek was mm-hmm. straight street. I told, I texted Derek. I said, I said, I'm the only white guy here. And, and I had a picture. We've already taken pictures at this point. So I sent it to Derek. And Derek texts me back. He's like, I bet you that wedding's going to be lit as fuck. And I was like, you goddamn right it is. Had an absolute blast. Gave a speech um, that he didn't have. They didn't have like a wedding party. They didn't have groomsmen or best man or any of that. They thing. did. They were just late. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> But people got to go up and talk. <laughs> And uh, so I went up there, gave a good speech. This and, is so uh, wrong, but it <laughs> feels so right. I, I, uh, I was complimented on my dancing abilities. So, <laughs> yeah. ha! Yeah, I can uh, dance. Yeah, you're the loser in the group. Congratulations. <laughs> you don't you don't know uh, condescension when you hear it. <laughs> hey, oh, nice man. dancing. Yeah, I was tearing up the dance yeah. floor. I'm Scott, sure you were. Scott, was. Scotty's out there boot scooting to DMX. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was trying to get him to play DMX, and he wouldn't do it. What what did you get him for his well, wedding gift? Did you get him like carton of cools? Or? Uh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> carton of cools. Hey, uh, that ain't cheap these days. <laughs> No, we didn't. Uh, they they requested not to have gifts, 
but I absolutely had a blast with them. <laughs> yeah, Carton of Cool is like 200 bucks right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, uh, we ended up going out uh, for lunch the next morning. Uh, he was hungover as fuck. Uh, but I wanted to give a shout out to Michi and Shakita. I had an absolute blast. I love you guys. It was an excellent time. Uh, I've met him before. He's actually a really fucking. Cool he is a really fucking cool guy. We actually he uh, we were trying to decide whether or not to revive you that day because you'd passed out at <laughs> one o'clock drunk. That's one o'clock p.m. drunk. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow! No. Yeah, yeah. Off the couch onto the floor uh, in front of the couch. This dude has <clears throat> the uncanny ability to make me drink a lot. And he can drink me under the table. You were Except there. You I've were drunk you, before he got there. I was going to say, I've, I've seen you do so. that without him. That's true. So I don't think that's him. Yeah. I think that's just you and you're you're trying to blame people no. for your fucking problems. But no, I was completely, uh, I wasn't completely sober that uh, at the wedding, but I was pretty darn close. Um, but I had an absolute blast with that. And uh, moving on to the next thing that I wanted to say, uh-huh. I have officially got an NFL team that I am a fan of. The Chiefs, we know. You're super chief. Nope. I I have been watching Hard Knocks with the Detroit Lions, uh-huh. and I always I've I've said it the last two years I fucking love Dan Campbell. Now I love everybody on that team except for Jared Goff. That's the only one I don't really like. But I am officially a Lions fan. I've already got a hat coming, a jersey coming. But I got my shirt. I'm a Lions fan. So, uh, oh yeah, and better off, uh, better than that, uh, the jersey that I'm wearing right now is my custom jersey for um, Scooters Hooters, my fantasy football team, because that's coming up pretty quick. But the best part is, is what it says on the back. Back to back champs, motherfucker! Balls to butthole champs. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's B2B, right? It is B2B, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that jersey looks like what the cheerleaders on the mean machine wore. <laughs> <laughs> You just need to, to cut that part off, uh, and yeah. then you are right there, dead ringer. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that was my, my week. How about you, Jerry? That was supposed to be a cutoff. He's just so fucking short. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no shit. Uh, but how about you, Jeremy? How was your week? Uh, up and down. Yeah? Um, I guess it, it actually something I forgot to bring up last week. Wait, is, was that a notice joke? Yeah, it, yeah. it can be. Hell yes, it is now. It officially totally is reliable. Now. Yep. This week has been as reliable as a fucking Otis. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it started off uh, odd. Um, my last Sunday, my father-in-law has a motorcycle, oh. and he likes to get together with his buddies, and uh, they ride every Sunday, and. Uh, him and another guy got hit by a fucking car <coughs> at a what? stop sign. Yeah. The, some, fa- the father-in-law you don't like? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't want that to happen so, to so, him. So now Jeremy's got to start right. going to church. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm praying for that. I swear to God I'll get back. No, he uh, he broke a couple of ribs and he got his, his fucking face all skinned up. And yeah, it was, oh. a, it was a bad deal. He got very lucky. Uh, the best thing that probably could have happened to him, it... it Threw him clear and but his bike got totally fucking run over. Oh. And uh, I like to hope that that kid got out and he goes, you know, one time I got thrown to <laughs> the handlebars of my bike, <laughs> just just to one down him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's fucking. Crazy. I, I can totally relate, man. I fell off a skateboard once. Uh, <laughs> no, I guess this kid was fucking... He, they were stopped at a stop <clears throat> sign, and this kid was texting. He was texting into his job to let him know he was going to be a few minutes late. And <laughs> oh, he was a few minutes late. I guess he was going to make sure he was <laughs> late. Uh, I guess he was a really nice kid and all that. was very apologetic and luckily was insured. But, uh, yeah, uh, my, my wife has been worried for some time about him on that fucking motorcycle. And... She's pretty happy that it's gone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to get another one. Mm-hmm. I, I think it scared the shit out of him more than anything. Uh, the guy who was with him, I guess it busted his leg in three fucking places. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. 80, 85-year-old guy. Oh, Jesus. Poor bastard. Shouldn't have been on the fucking motorcycle. Well, usually yeah. those guys don't come back from shit like that. No. They, yeah. They, they're, yeah. Like a horse. Just fucking shoot him. Yep. Um, <laughs> Where'd this glue come from? It's <laughs> yeah. really strong. Horse talk. That's Gary. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they call it an iron horse for a reason. <laughs> right. Uh, so anyways, um, then uh, later on this uh, this last week, my dog's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, 
for those who don't haven't heard about my dog, I have a, a miniature uh, dachshund. He's uh, barely a dog at that. He's 15, going to be 16 in October. Uh, you know, is, is in as good a health as what you would expect a dog that old to be. Most of them are dead. And uh, so he's got, he can barely see, he can hardly hear. Uh, he's got some form of cancer. Uh, all his blood work shows that there's, something cancerous he wouldn't survive whatever procedure it would take to find out exactly what and he certainly wouldn't survive any procedure to uh to treat it and so <clears throat> we're just kind of letting it play its course and, and treating it with steroids and keeping him comfortable well this last week uh he really just fell off the fucking cliff and he couldn't move around hardly he was in pain with everything couldn't keep any food down just shaken that he had what they called what is it Co cognitive disruption is basically dog dementia confused and mm -hmm. and uh just couldn't tell where the fuck he was at any time friday he tried to stand up in his bed you know how they sweat through their nose mm -hmm. and it was just this constant drip of of sweat coming off his nose because oh, no. it was so much work and you know decided right then and there that the next morning <clears throat> we would uh we would pull the trigger and, and take him to the vet and put him down and um you know it it's very hard but we reconciled with that and uh so the next morning vet opened at eight so i got up at seven i went out to start the coffee and i just hear boom and that fucker jumps out of bed he's chasing after me he's jumping all around like nothing was ever fucking wrong <laughs> wagging his goddamn tail begging for food and it's like okay most people who have ever had to put a dog down would be like, oh, I would have given anything for that to happen. And I'll, I'll say it, it's a wonderful blessing to not have to go through that. But when you've already gone through the mental anguish mm -hmm. of coming to terms with you're going to have to kill your dog, um, it wouldn't be so bad except... I'm going to say this is the fifth or sixth time <laughs> that we've had to do this. And every time it starts a big fight between me and my wife because she just doesn't have it in her to make that decision. So every time it's just like I'm arguing to kill the dog. <laughs> and so I, there's no way you're not the asshole in that. But I'm of the belief that I refuse to let an animal suffer one minute longer than it absolutely has to. Uh and so, you know, I don't want to remember them in pain or anything like that. And every time he's fucking turned it around. So every time she's been right. So it turns out, yeah, I was just trying to kill the dog. <laughs> and I'm thinking, motherfucker, if, if the vet was open a half hour later, you would have gone the night before. <laughs> oh. And it, it really, it's like got me second guessing myself. It's also got me to where... I'm starting to become okay and complacent with the idea of putting a dog down. <laughs> that should really generate a lot of emotion, and I'm just becoming, you know, it's just fucking Tuesday now. And uh, so it's, it's, I'm going to say it's, it's like when they would torture prisoners of war by putting a gun to their head and pulling <clears> the trigger, <throat> and, but it wasn't loaded. That's exactly what I've been going through. I, I'm exactly, I've been through ev all the trauma that they go through. But no, it, it sucks coming to coming to terms with, this is the last night we're ever going to see our dog. Oh, fuck. Okay. I guess guess we rushed to conclusions on that. Uh, but so, yeah, this, it, uh, it makes it harder each and each time. But I know it's, it's, it can't be very far yeah. away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so oh. so now he's still running around acting like a fucking prick. Uh, <laughs> hasn't peed in the house once since he turned there, everything around. There so there's go. that. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, something I had been putting off for way too fucking long. I cleaned my grill this weekend. Oh yeah. Have you guys ever done a deep clean? Oh uh, yeah, just did. I oh, my god, I I had been putting it off for four years. Uh, yeah. I, I don't probably use mine as much as you use yours, but still, it's it's a pellet smoker grill, and the soot and the grease that builds up on the inside of it, it had gotten to the point where I couldn't touch the outside without it leaving grease and shit on me, so I finally had to do it. It took me a full two days. I cannot believe I ate food out of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ. That was maybe the most... Uh, disgusting thing that I've had to do in a while. 
And other than, you know, clean up my dog's puke and piss here lately. Um, right. Other than that, uh, let's see. Started watching season three of Lock and Key. Oh, yeah. What's I forgot that? I got to watch yeah. that. It's, oh, it's, it's season three? Yeah, three, yeah. yeah they, they, like, didn't hesitate any time between two and three. So That explains why yeah. I did not know what the <clears throat> fuck was going on. Yeah, it caught me totally by surprise. I had no idea. I figured it was another year before that was coming out. Oh, no. I started watching it, too, but I, I haven't seen season two yet. So I started watching season three and was completely fucking lost. Well, don't say anything. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, and then Sunday was the big night. Yep. House of Dragons. Yeah, baby. Watched it. Don't spoil anything. I haven't yet, so don't spoil anything. I was a little disappointed. No, don't say that. Only for the fact that they did. They had a lot of opportunities to show more titties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where where Game of Thrones would have just gone out of their way to throw <laughs> as many titties out there. There were still titties. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's still some titties, but not <laughs> not as many titties as I like in a dragon show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so other than that, that was pretty much my week. Awesome. What titties do you like? Human titties or dragon titties? Ooh. I like human titties in a dragon show. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure if you were liking dragon titties in a human show. My, my brother and I used to refer to Game of Thrones as dragons and titties. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I guess dragon titties you can see at a nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that ain't no shit. You guys remember dragons. those guys? Uh, they used to do mornings on the radio, dragons and titties. <laughs> you, you, know, a, you know what this means now, though, Jeremy, is hmm. you've got to be that guy. Yeah. Like next time you go to the vet, you got to be like, you know, if you guys extend your hours, you'd make a little more money. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) God. Uh, Poor dog. Well, and that's that's the thing, too. Our our veterinarian, uh, we had the most wonderful veterinarian in the world uh, who tragically was killed in a car wreck right after he retired. He was like semi retired. And, uh, Did he hit your father-in-law? <laughs> yeah. He was texting to let him know he's going to be late. <laughs> Which is weird that he would have to do that. I mean, he's self-employed. Who's going to fire him? He just got done having a steak. Uh, a sirloin. Uh, but no, um, he was in the process of handing off the, the business to this younger vet who had bought it who doesn't have any of the qualities. So this vet has been of no console to us. He, yeah. he lacks any and all personality or bedside manner. He's just so... It, what, what we've been looking for is for a vet to definitively say it's time, and he just won't. He, well, I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> At least he's not like overly assertive, like, well, we're going to have to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> we're running out of space and back. <laughs> <laughs> But now uh, we got a special going. If yeah. you want to do it before three thirty, yeah, it's happy hour. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just inject him right here. I got gas and matches. We'll just burn him up, put him in a box, send you home today. Yeah, put him in that new grill. Special ninety nine ninety five. That's right. <laughs> Jesus, comes with a bag of pellets, like mesquite chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, we got to move on. We yes, have a really really long uh, week week recap, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we do have a lot of sports to get to, but before we do that, I want to tell you about our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. Uh, check them out whenever you get a chance. They have excellent products uh, to help keep yourself groomed. It's coming up to the end of the summer, sort of, uh, so it's still hot out there. You know, you want to make sure that uh, you know you're you're keeping your shit cleaned, uh, and they've got all kinds of products to help you do that. They've got the Lawnmower 4.0. That is their what do you call that product? It's like their main one. It's the ball trimmer. It's well, their flagship. The flag. That's what I was looking. It's like the oh, flagship yes. of Manscaped. It's the crown jewel. Yeah, the crown jewel. The lawnmower 4.0 helps makes you, your jewel look even nicer. That's exactly right. Helps you shave your balls. Helps you shave your dick. Helps you shave your asshole. That's a that's a really important thing. I, I don't think it's I've like the sh- Olympic torch, except the light from this thing's adjustable. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Who's shaving their dick? Uh, it's somebody, like, it's like a got. furry pipe cleaner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you knew this or not, but my dick's a Hasidic Jew. <laughs> uh, it, it grows a lot of those weird, twisty yeah. 
curl things by yeah. its ears. Not <laughs> right. <laughs> My dick also has ears. Right. Uh, uh, they've got the Lawnmower 4.0, but they also have other products you need to check out. They've got the <clears throat> ball toner. They've got the ball deodorant, and they've got other things like the shears. They've got the uh, the weed whacker, which is for your nose hair and ear hair. They got the testicle tens unit. That no, they don't. They have do it. that. You no. put that on your testicles, real relaxing. No, nope, they don't have that. Crank it up to eleven. Right, uh, but they have also a cologne, which that. is called Refined. Um, go and check them out. Uh, any product that you guys get. Uh, make sure to use the promo code SIDELINES. Uh, that gets you, uh, was it 20, 10%? 20%. 20%. 20%. And free shipping. And free shipping. And free shipping. Scotty, Holy on. shit. Uh, but that helps what us if, out. What helps. if just for this one week they lowered it to 10%? Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry fuckers. You sorry. should have gotten in earlier. Yeah, my bad. Didn't get the memo. Buy one, get a free tins unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but check them you out. You know it's coming. <clears throat> Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. Uh, that uh, helps you out, helps us out, and lets Mans- Manscaped know that we are reading these commercials word for word. Now we got some sports. We got really quickly baseball. We got baseball going on right now uh, in the studio. Uh, but I thought it was kind of funny and a kind of a great thing that the New York Yankees are now 3 and 14 since the All Star break. Uh, they are currently playing right now against the Mets and uh, they are currently leading. So that may in- improve a little bit, but uh, not much. Uh, anybody, anybody upset with that at all? I mean, I know you're. You know a, what upsets Rizzo. me? What is it? There's still like 30 games over 500. Yeah, I know it's fucking bullshit. Fuck them. I, I think I they're like just them. fucking putting it on cruise control. Maybe. Yeah, I've got one horse in this baseball playoff race that I'm rooting for, and that's Rizzo. And that is the Orioles. Really? Yes. Uh, to be like the worst team and then actually make the playoffs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, they I they have been it. through fucking misery nonstop since like 2015. Yeah. Ever since they lost to the Royals in the ALCS, they have yep. just been shit. Yeah. And so it, I really want to see them do well. Yeah. It, it really does not help that you are in the same division as the two richest fucking teams, basically, yeah. in all of baseball. Right. With Boston and New York. Mm-hmm. So I, I am fucking all in on Baltimore this year. Yeah. Uh, are I, they are they in contention? Yes. They're like a game yeah. out of the wild card yeah. a couple wow. days ago. <clears throat> yeah. They, I uh, – I heard on the radio the other day they were talking about the Royals were going to be playing the White Sox. AM or uh, FM? Uh, God damn. It was actually uh, XM. XM, oh, okay. Yep. Um, but, uh, no, they said that the the White Sox were, were two games back in the Central Division and only two and a half games out of the wild card race, which means that the winner of the Central would not be in the wild card race right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that's kind of crazy. <clears throat> yeah. um, but I did want to point out uh, Albert Pujols uh, hit his 692nd home run. Sounds like he found his old dealer. I think so. Yeah. Uh, no, it's absolutely amazing for a 42-year-old guy to have the month or the oh, week. 42-year-old guy. Almost yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he hit uh, a multiple game, two games with multiple home runs. He's now second on the all-time list of total bases. What's even more unbelievable is that Barry Bonds hit, what, 76 or something? Yeah, maybe? something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty unbelievable, too. Sure. Yeah, that's incredible. At, at over 40, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. Right at 40? So. Right yeah, and he 40. was the home run king. Yeah. Wow. That's unbelievable. He, he's right. the one we all recognize as the home run king mm-hmm. for sure. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, so that's baseball for this week. Now we get to get to the good stuff. Obviously, fantasy football is coming right around the corner. So now we start getting preseason football. We get we got actually had cock teasing sports. That is no shit. But when you, it's different though, when you have a team, <clears throat> you really actually pay attention. Start watching the games to see if you've the, been watching the Chiefs all for no, the last what? No. They've been good for how you hear me. He's not wrong because the fact I don't have a team, I haven't watched one second of preseason <laughs> yeah, football. Exactly. I really haven't. Exactly. And, and I'm going to get to watch preseason football all year watching my team, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't be, matter. They're going to be better than you, than you give them credit for. Um, <clears throat> but no, uh, we have uh, Tom Brady actually finally came back from his like 10 to 15 day hiatus, like his personal vacation that he decided to take. Good for him. So, yeah, something tells me that uh, he was trying to talk Gronk into coming back. Um, I think he was probably having some marital relations with his wife. Maybe. Probably. Probably. Just 14 straight days of mm-hmm. fucking <laughs> fucking eating steak and shitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The big three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but uh, also, the uh, Carolina Panthers announce, finally, that uh, Baker Mayfield is going to be the starting quarterback. 
congratulations, because that had to be really uh-huh. tough beating out Sam Darnold, <laughs> right? And a guy who lost his ankle, right? <laughs> That's gotta <Yeah>. be. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be playing against it Cleveland. Fell off just the ankle, foot yeah, stayed there. Gone. <laughs> and he's gonna play against Cleveland first game. What do you think? You think that you think Carolina takes him? I do. I couldn't be more apathetic about yeah, a fucking game. <laughs> I'm honestly I'm excited. Hey, if that's their version of a fucking revenge game, you're you're gonna play against uh, who is their backup? Jacoby, Jacoby Brissett. Brissett. Yeah, big who, steal. Who is a a capable backup? I guess, but he's certainly not the Desha- guy to lead your fucking team to the promised land. Yeah, <clears throat> there's no Deshaun Watson. Not he, he's even a, no, he's a much better guy. <laughs> that's what I was for gonna sure. say. Uh, yeah, but uh, so I'm I'm gonna watch that. But uh, my next question. Uh, who should the Steelers start, Mitch Trubisky or rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett? Kenny Pickett. You think so? Yes. Yeah, 100%. I agree. I, I, I've watched Trubisky enough. Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Uh, my only fear, this is the only thing that's holding me back a little bit from saying this for sure, is the Steelers' line, not the best. He's and used to that. And they and they may he may get hurt. But if you're talking about who's the better quarterback – it's Kenny Pickett. Yeah. So, but there's still they they still haven't come out and said it yet. So I'm curious to see what happens, and that's why I actually have been watching a lot of preseason footballs just to see. <clears throat> and and Kenny Pickett looks fucking he looks much better than Trubisky does. How about you, Jeremy? I don't know. Okay. See, obviously Pickett is the better quarterback based off what I've heard because, like I say, I haven't watched one second of preseason football. <laughs> but um, what I do know is that just Traditionally, guys, rookies who come in and sit the bench for that first year, at least part of that first year, tend to have better, longer-lived careers. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that's what Pittsburgh needs is a future franchise quarterback to replace Roethlisberger. They were so spoiled for so many years having the guy. Yeah, that, that they never had to look for a fucking quarterback. This is kind of a new problem for them. Yeah, it is. Uh, and they've got an excellent running game in Najee Harris. So it's going to be – I mean, they they still are not a bad team if they play their cards right, which I think they should. They should start Kenny Pickett. I think you, you're you going to have a, a better chance to have a winning season. Who wins that division, you guys think? Uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Oh, that's right. I forgot they're in that division. Sin City. Yeah, but – That's where my wife is right ba- now. Baltimore ain't bad. Don't count them out. But, uh, yeah, I'm still going Cincinnati. Uh, last one, uh, like we've obviously, that's how we met is through fantasy football. Um, at least all three of us anyways. Um, so we have had a lot of fantasy football questions and I understand that problem is we have our draft and we don't want to give anything away because the question that I have here is Christian McCaffrey, uh, is probably one of the top five guys off of your, your draft board. Um, me and Derek, I don't think are going to be in the running for that. I'm, I'm, I'm at the four. back. You're four. Ooh. Okay. Well, my question is, does I got the deuce. <clears throat> yeah. Jeremy has a second pick. Derek has fourth pick. I guess my question without giving away anything, are you scared of drafting a guy like that? that has been injured basically two years in a row. Yes. And, I took him number one overall two years ago and yeah. he fucked me over. I saw him fuck Derek's wife over <laughs> all last year. Yeah. I'm the guy is made of glass. <laughs> he yeah. really is. When, when he's healthy, he is, he wins top your, two or three. He wins your draft or right. he wins the league. Probably cause he's all that they go to. Exactly. And, and he's, but he is, he does not have the durability to do that. Not to mention he's coming at, off of back-to-back seasons with severe injuries. Right. So I don't – he's just not reliable. Yeah. I say go with somebody who has shown that they've got the durability. That's that's crazy. But go with a punter. Jer- with, Jeremy's going to pick him. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. <laughs> probably. It's, it's so difficult not to. He's exactly right. If he's healthy, he wins your goddamn league. And it sucks because he's had two straight seasons of being injured, and it's just you're so scared because you don't want to have to go through that and shit. Look again. who's got handing it off to him. Yeah, <laughs> Baker Mayfield, motherfucker. He's got a great quarterback handing it to him. A better that, quarterback, sure. I mean, that so. makes all the difference for a running back. It does. Um, he's a he's a pass <clears throat> catching running back. Sure. So I, I don't know. Uh, do you want to give your answer or keep silent? That's uh, none of your goddamn business. Okay, I figured you probably wouldn't. Uh, but guys, that is our if, sports. If I could, if he was still available at four, maybe. But with two, I don't know that I would. Yeah, I'm certainly not with the number one. Not with the number one. I think all of us would pretty much agree that it. it you should definitely young Hoku. 
<laughs> Young Oku. Number one overall. No, I think you cannot not take Jonathan Taylor. So Unless you don't want Young Hoku. I'm right. taking Jonathan Taylor, Taylor Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Oh, yeah. yeah. JTT, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but now we got to move on. We're going to get to the ick this week. Um, it's still a this. thing, huh? Yeah, it's still a thing. Okay. People like it. Uh, I don't think they do, Scotty. <clears throat> they do. Uh, so this is the ick. Uh, we're going to give uh, girls uh, a rating of a 10, but tell you something about them, and we get to change said rating. Uh, so first one, she's a 10, but she is extremely emotional when she's on her period. So she's so she's, cra- she's on her period, and she's huh? crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a zero for me, Scott. <laughs> I don't uh, <laughs> don't see any reason to even fucking you. You go somewhere else. Go uh, away. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, unfortunately, this is something I am very familiar with. So she stays at ten. God damn it. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't that just make her like every other fucking every woman? other woman? Yeah. I, I only agree. apparently incredibly hot. So yeah, yeah. Stay away for that that fucking four or five days or what was in my case six weeks a month uh, <laughs> and the rest of the time just enjoy that's right yeah what's she like the rest of the time that's yeah that's, that's what i'm that's true uh but i mean you can't you can't like even if she's not on her period and you get her pregnant then like holy shit that's like on period that's nine t- months and no periods <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a trick question because women who are extreme are pregnant are fucking emotional <laughs> and rats. fat and fat exactly yeah uh yeah all right next one (laughs) she's a 10 but she dyes her hair weird colors all the time what's a weird color like blue and pink and green and all those like straight pink all the time like a whole thing pink Uh uh-huh six yeah i'm I'm gonna i'm i'm about there too i i said six as well yeah jeremy five to six yeah this uh Aren't you fucking interesting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, exactly. Great. Yeah. Spectacular. Uh-huh. Uh, next one. As she, as if yeah. you're fooling anybody. <laughs> right. Oh, she's a natural blue hair. Yeah, she is a natural blue. Uh, next one. She's a 10, but she's vegan, and she tells everyone about it. Well, first off, she's not going to respond to that text. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she that's wouldn't have knock. sent that text. No, and she's not going to respond to. Oh, it. she no, she tells everybody. She yeah. will respond and tell Absolutely. him. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Um, and you might lose her to him because uh, guy's self-employed. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd say she's still a ten. I doesn't mean I can't eat meat. Sure. I don't know. I think that if she's a vegan and she tells everybody about it, she's going to be really pissed off at you for eating steak. Okay. Good. I can't not. I, there's no way I can live without eating steak. So this is uh, this is a two for me, Jeremy. Is she like a like a super passionate? Yes. Like because if you're a vegan, the fact is that really does affect the way that you live your life, mm-hmm. and so you do kind of have to tell most people because something involving food or animal products will come up that you can't take part in. So just informing people you're vegan isn't bad. If you're a preachy, shitty vegan like that, yeah. uh, then I kind of want her a little more. Um, <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Like if she's one of the ones that goes in protests, yeah, because I want to go to the protest with her. I am a huge believer in fighting crazy with crazy. <laughs> okay. And just to go so nuts insane that even vegans are like, maybe we should knock this shit off. <laughs> just, 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 and eat a hot dog the whole time. Yeah. Just put a, a nail a piece of steak uh-huh. to the poster board and be like, this is murder. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then get like stray dogs and kill them. This is murder, too. <laughs> <laughs> And I got it half price at my vet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Before three thirty, grab a homeless guy, put a bullet in his head, and that's murder. I'm totally against that. Right. Uh, all right. Next. So fuck you. <laughs> Next one. She's a ten, but she has terrible body odor. That's a one. Yep. Yeah. That's right out of. That's it. a no. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't do it. Absolutely not. That is the worst fucking thing on the face of the planet. If her uh, armpit smell, imagine what that puss smells thing. like. There are two two distinctly different types of body odor. There's armpit body odor and there's butt crack body odor. <laughs> Either one's a deal breaker for yeah, me. Absolutely. Zero. That means you don't wash, you know, <laughs> like right. a vegan. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, because water. You know, water's uh-huh. dangerous to animals. Sure. That's, um, that's a fish's home. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing bacteria that live there. Those are living, breathing creatures. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Washing yourself is murder. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, did everybody answer? I think everybody went straight to zero, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Last one. She's a 10. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. She's a 10, but she snores like a freight train whenever she sleeps. She's my wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome to my life. I, mm-hmm. Turns out I can deal with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, um, my wife does not do that. She does not do that at all. So that's because you sleep in separate bedrooms, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. At her insistence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's sleep on the couch. Uh, no, I, I don't that think. That was her birthday present, her yeah. own bedroom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. No, I think I think I could probably deal with it. She does. And with, oddly enough, carton of cools. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got two cartons for two people. Uh, yeah, but anyways, that is the ick. Uh, carton of cools, baby. Um, <laughs> uh, but now we get to move on to a new segment that people apparently have uh, really, really liked. This is called Wrong Answers Only Movie Quotes Edition. Uh, we're going to say a movie quote and take out some part of it, and we get to fill in the blank. Uh, first question. You've got to ask yourself one question. Blank. Well, do you, punk? Derek? That is the worst <laughs> Clint Eastwood I have it is, ever heard. It's awful, I know. All right, so we really have to answer this. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel grumpy? <laughs> well, <laughs> do you, punk? <laughs> That's fucking great. I love it. Oh, man. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do you like women? Well, do you, punk? That's mine. Huh. Jeremy? Uh, I was just going to go with, uh, do you think these pants make my ass look fat? (laughs) (laughs) It works, man. It sure does. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, That is obviously from uh, Dirty Harry. Uh, Next one. There's a Kansas classic. I believe that's from Magnum Force, actually. Okay, well, that's what it said. I that's can't wear that size. Yeah, that's <laughs> way too big. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wash it in hot water. <laughs> right. Sure. Uh, this is a Kansas one. I got one. a package of them as a joke once. So I, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. I use one as a sleeping bag. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Toto. When you were camping that one time? <laughs> yeah. Fucking wind. Yeah. yeah. Fucking wind. Fucking wind. Uh, right. Anyways, this is from Wizard of Oz. This is... Toto, I've got a feeling we're not blank anymore. Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, no yeah. Applebee's, no Oreo shakes, nope. no whipped cream, just dollar long islands and balls on the bar. There you go. Um, alive. That dog and Dorothy are definitely dead. So that's mine. Jeremy? Horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh-huh. She th- you think the dog helps I, her out? I think maybe. Okay. She really did like that fucking dog. She sure did. <laughs> Put it right in that basket. <laughs> right. Speaking yeah. of that, <laughs> I was working today, and uh, people can bring their change in and cash their change, and we don't charge them to do that. Yeah. And uh, these people had a piggy bank, and it was a dog. And okay. The dog was just like a sitting dog. Mm-hmm. And the bottom, the, the, the coin slot was on its back. Right. But the part where you empty the coins, it looked like I was fingering that dog's asshole oh. trying, to, trying to get coins out. I'm just sitting there holding this fucker, and I'm just <laughs> nonstop for probably a good three or four minutes. Wow. I think it came. Okay, good. Uh, all right, next one. This is from, uh, it says it's from Sudden Impact, but I'm sure Jeremy's going to say no, it's not. No, this is from Sudden Impact. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead. Blank, blank, blank. Honestly, that was a better impression. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, yeah, we were looking for pew, pew, pew. Kind of <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Uh, go ahead. Take the survey. That's mine. All right. You, I, that was a callback. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Derek? The best jokes are the ones you have to explain. <laughs> right? They really are. <laughs> yeah. You remember uh, that one time earlier when you said this? <laughs> no. Remember what we were talking sure, about? I'm sure it was fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Derek. Go ahead. Make me gay. <laughs> Still one of my favorites of all time. 
Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, I got a few. Uh, lay by the bay. <laughs> make things out of clay. <laughs> I just may. I, I just, just may. may. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen uh, to what I say. Oh, <laughs> uh, great. Uh, next one is from Love Story, and it is Love Means Never Having to Say Blank. I farted <laughs> because of your true love will recognize your own brand uh-huh. and he'll just punch you in the fucking arm. I, I, I'm actually... Which should tell you a little something about your wife when she had to ask if you farted. Yeah, I know, know, right? How do you not know mine? Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, I agree. I don't know if we burnt, went down a road that had a school that was burning down with children alive in it or, in, yep. or what, but it was awful. When, when you finally found premium, did you take the pump, the <coughs> nozzle off the pump and like put it under your nose and be like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that's sweet, the, sweet preem. <laughs> that's the good stuff. Um, Swish a little around. Um, I've got a... Re- Excuse me. 2022. Right. Very good year. Um, I've got a real one. Love means never having to say, you might want to stay out of the bathroom for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm, ser- I'm serious. That's how you know you truly, truly love somebody is whenever you walk in, into the bathroom, open the door, and it just hits you like a fog of shit. That's how you know you really love somebody. Wow, you guys do a lot with the butthole. We do. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, how about you? Uh, That's why he takes it up the ass. Right. <laughs> You're fine. Safer. It's, it's far safer, <laughs> yeah. Safer. He keeps clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oddly, though, he got monkeypox. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Uh, love means never having to say, keep your goddamn hands off my Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> She just knows. Oh, Jesus. Love, uh, love means don't touch my fucking drum set. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last one. This is from Jerry Maguire, baby. Show me the blank. Show me the Bitcoin <laughs> so I can buy steroids off the dark web and succeed in Farley outproduced my contract and <laughs> hit 692 home runs whenever I'm 45 years old, but tell everyone I'm 42. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well, mine is uh, show me the cocaine. Jeremy? Derek took mine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Really? Show me the menthols. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking uh, great. <laughs> did you put that in your speech? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, carton of cools. Uh shit. Man. All right. Well, that is the... Uh, I'm sorry. That is wrong answers only. Now we get to move on to bad advice with Jeremy. Guys, if you guys have any suggestions of, or any, I'm sorry, any situations that you need to ask uh, for Jeremy's absolutely god awful, terrible advice, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or our TikTok, mainly Instagram, um, or Facebook. That's, uh, that's how Jeremy gets them. Uh, this week, uh, oh shit, you know what, Jeremy? We don't know who this came from. Yeah, you, I do. Oh, well, who did it come from? A listener. Well, who's the listener? Oh, I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> you t- it took it. It took came it. from the internet. Yeah, you just don't remember who it was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see if it's still pulled up. Yeah. It is not, but. He who shall remain nameless. That's if you yeah, say his name yeah. three times. Yep. Can't talk right now. Mm-hmm. That's the way it is. I'll find it here in just a second. Okay. No, take your time. Uh, Derek. Oh, you- oh <clears> then uh, <throat> come back to me in an hour or so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but yeah, how you doing over there, Derek? Oh, Excited to be, be back. Be a whole lot better if me and Jeremy switch seats. That's fine. Uh, you wanted to no, sit there. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. I wanted <laughs> I, to sit in my car. <laughs> That's where I wanted to sit. Uh, what do you think of my jersey? I don't care. You don't care? No. It doesn't make me mad at least a little bit. No. I, I'm not the dumbass that spent money on it. <laughs> That's true. I did. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks really good, actually. Yeah. I'm just, hey. <laughs> just going to buy your own God. gifts at Christmas. Damn, how many fucking messages Look what I got myself get? for Christmas, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> That's no shit. If I find something I want, I'm What'd I'm you get me? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I better say... I, while We can tell that story while we're waiting for Jeremy. Um, I super, super fucked up today. Uh, probably. What'd you do? I forgot my wife's birthday. 
Oh, you dick bag. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I saved it, though. I saved it because this is what I ended up doing. I, You're I, like, happy birthday. Guess what we're going to get for your birthday? <laughs> Jeremy and Derek to come over and record the podcast. <laughs> no. No, I knew I was uh, I was w- ready for it yesterday, the day before we were talking about it. I just totally slipped my mind this morning. I have no idea why. So I legitimately go to work and uh, didn't text my wife anything. Didn't, you know, didn't. Do anything on Facebook, nothing like that. I haven't been on Facebook in a lot. How but, happy was she about that? Oh, no, get, we'll get there in a second. Um, but when I'm on my lunch, I'm at home, I'm sitting, and I'm on my lunch, I it all of a sudden fucking hit me, and I went, oh, fuck, it's today. So I called my boss and said, hey, I'm going to be late for uh, coming back from lunch. Ram Dillon's got a big expensive bouquet of flowers and then hand-delivered them to her at work. And she, right when I walk in, she says, oh, that's so sweet. I go, yeah, I know. She goes, honestly, I was getting kind of worried that you forgot because I haven't heard from you all day. <laughs> and I was like, no, I wouldn't do that. I, I This was all in the plan. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's my true story. See, you go and do that, and I give my wife diarrhea for her birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for editing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to take that whole fucking thing out. Yeah. Because uh, that story was a fucking dud. Uh, Jeff Friedman. Jeff Friedman. The winner okay. is Jeff Friedman. Which, by the way, uh, looking through these, of all the submissions we get, there are so many of them who are like, I need some advice from the king of bad advice, Jeremy, or, or from the greatest, Jeremy. Like, flattery is going to get you anywhere. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think of me, honestly. Uh, as long as you have a question or a premise that I can make something out of. Right. That's the only thing that I'm looking for. I don't need your fucking compliments. They mean nothing to me. You people are cockroaches. <laughs> Go on. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Fried- Jeff Friedman. Jeff Friedman. He writes... Jeremy, yeah, I still have feelings for my ex. We worked together and decided to break it off to stay friends and don't want to interfere with our work. But I still have feelings for her. What should I do? Ooh, that is a tricky one. Uh, first off, you made a very wise decision uh, not dating a coworker. That uh, that never leads to good things. But there is a, a way you can still have the best of both worlds: friends and coworkers on one hand and still romantic interest on the other. Uh, I don't know how you are about uh, making your own dolls, but uh, you go to work, you just act like everything is normal, but then go home and make dolls of you and her and little <laughs> set up little scenes and act out little scenarios where you're going out on dates. Take pictures of it. Put it up on Facebook, TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, whatever. Tell people you're in a relationship. When they want to see pictures of your girlfriend, show them pictures of this doll. Make this doll your life uh, and hope she never comes over. Or if she does, just explain to her, you know, you know, you you just can't get over her. And so you had to have her all the fucking time and you can't ever get rid of her. Now that she's at your house, now she's your doll (laughs) and she can never leave. Put her in a box in a closet somewhere and forget about her. That's my advice. Oh, <laughs> don't don't do that. Just just for what it's worth. It's bad advice, Scotty. It's in the fucking name. I know, I know. All right, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. <clears throat> Again, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us on in, or at Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. First one: overrated or underrated? Ice skating. How in the fuck should I know? (laughs) Do I look graceful enough to go? I've never even attempted. I've never even thought about attempting it. Oh, don't lie. Now it's all I can think about. Thanks for bringing this up. (laughs) Jeremy is a Brian Boitano. Absolutely, he is. In sneakers, yeah, (laughs) yeah. I get around real good, flat-footed. Yeah. Uh, Ice? No. You know why? It's fucking ice. Yeah. Slippery. Yeah, this is the most Canadian shit ever, and uh, I think it's underrated if you're playing hockey, but if you're figure skating, fuck you. Derek? Yeah, just overrated, period. Yeah, just completely? Yeah, Yeah, uh -uh. uh-uh. No thanks. I'll break a leg. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Next one. Movies. Oh, sorry. Overrated or underrated? Movies in a foreign language. This is overrated as fuck. You people that like to watch like movies where they're speaking a different language and just read the subtitles at the very bottom, you guys are psychos. You people that watch fucking Squid Game can suck it. Derek? 
I'm going to say underrated. Jesus Christ. Um, there's a couple that are really good. Uh, City of God is fantastic. Uh, and after a while, you realize that you, you forget you're actually reading the movie. So, And I've fucking hung around bars long enough where mm-hmm. I've watched sports and I, they leave the captions on and I read the captions when the sports are on. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of used to it anyway. And Squid Game was fucking awesome. Oh, so Jesus. I'm going to say underrated. Uh, Der- or Jeremy. I never watched Squid Game. However, I'm going to say that they are underrated just because in my old age, I don't hear as good as I used to. So I have to watch shit with the captions on <clears throat> as it is. So I'm used to reading my TV and movies. Um, that started with my wife. Her hearing actually went a little bit before mine did. Uh, even when I could hear, it's still all I looked at was the fucking words. <laughs> I, I especially like it when they're way behind. <laughs> yeah, That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Fuck that. Or... Sometimes that uh, that closed captioning typist gets it wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like not even close. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, but no, it turns out there's some uh, some pretty good movies out there that uh, I had been missing because I refused to read a movie up to this point. So I'm going to say that they are. It's underrated. Uh, might I suggest because they didn't make any more. Well, I think they made one, but uh, the girl in the dragon tattoo movies. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. They no, they made. Uh, Whoop. Oh, sorry. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. See, you pissed the fucking dogs off. <laughs> Your dogs love foreign movies. They, they must. They now, absolutely now, there must. are some. Now, here's the thing is that there's no getting past a movie that just sucks. That's true. Like Pan's Labyrinth. Did you ever see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The movie fucking sucked. It was, it was so highly critically acclaimed. It sucks. Yeah. They're Nazis, but it's in Spanish. Yep. What the fuck? Right. Uh, my, uh, my stepdad... One day, uh, I always liked to fuck with him. And uh-huh. I was over at his house, and I changed his cable box to Spanish. Nice. Yeah. And he doesn't know how to operate any of that stuff. And he, uh, I, the, he went to the bathroom, or he, I changed it to Spanish when he was in the bathroom. He came out, and there's like a con- commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken. And my dad is, my stepdad's kind of a, a not kind of, is is a redneck, and he's like, Jesus fucking Christ, look at this fucking shit. Fucking taking over. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and then fucking the next commercial comes on, and it's in Spanish. And he's like, God fucking damn it. And finally, he looks at me, and he goes, wait a minute. Derek, did you change it to Spanish channel? And I'm fucking dying laughing, right? And so... All the channels are Spanish I, channel. <laughs> yeah, so I fixed it, right? Uh-huh. And then he goes to the bathroom again, and I put it back again to fuck with him. Well, whatever we were watching at that point didn't work. So right. I forgot about it. And okay. I left, and I went home, and he calls me like three days later. Hey... <laughs> 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 God fucking damn it, get my TV back the way it's supposed to be. I said, what are you talking about? Because I had forgot. <laughs> he goes, well, first for fucking two days, it was nothing but goddamn Spanish. And I fucking got that off of there. But now I got, like, words on my TV. If someone shoots a gun, it says bang. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking lost it. That's fucking I went funny. over there and fixed it in, like, ten seconds. But it, Oh, my God. You know what I love about closed captioning? Uh and I thank God that I actually still can hear somewhat. <clears throat> if there's a scene where they're like in a bar and they're having a conversation, but there's also music playing, mm-hmm. it music will play. Well, no, it'll say the fucking song lyrics. Oh, oh, really? And it'll throw that into the fucking conversation. Now, if you were deaf, you would be so confused because <laughs> it's the only hint, like they put musical notes around the song lyrics yeah. but they still just throw them right there in with the fucking conversation nice yeah great okay next one Deaf people are gross yeah they are um uh, <laughs> jesus christ uh, because of that <laughs> uh, I, I love having by the way inappropriate reactions to any time that my wife says something anytime the subject of deaf people comes up i just oh gross <laughs> Uh, Mine lately has been sluts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not sluts are gross. They're great, but I'll, I'll be like, why haven't they fucking activated this traffic light here at this intersection? She's like, I don't know. And I was like, fucking sluts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime my wife tells me something, whatever, queer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there she takes dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Mm-hmm. Overrated or underrated? Taking a drug test. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go overrated. Or underrated. Underrated. 
Okay. Perfect time to shit in a cup. <laughs> damn it! I was gonna say the same Perfect goddamn time. thing. That's the best fucking scene, and in that, in Out Cold. <laughs> I've thought of that before. Out oh, Cold. Oh Jesus Christ! It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, uh, underrated, dude. Uh, I, absolutely, you gotta have fun with them. One time, it took me no bullshit. It took me two hours to uh, be able to take a drug test. I could not pee. I couldn't do it. But anyways, Jeremy, when I got my DUI sixteen years ago, seventeen, mm-hmm. something like that. Um, they put me on probation for a year and I'm going to say three, I had to go once a month to my probation officer and three out of four times I had to take a drug test and they called me in a couple of times for random drug tests. And, uh, the thing is, it ain't like your standard, like at work drug tests, they have to watch you (laughs) and I can't go (laughs) if somebody's watching, no matter how much I have to pee, if I'm if I know they're back there, which makes a probation officer think you're just hiding something. <laughs> and then to add extra pressure, basically, if by the end of the day you haven't peed in the cup, you go to jail oh, for no. refusing to, to drug test. And what? that just makes my fucking urethra lock up. <laughs> there, the, the very first time, they had to stay after so that I could eke out a few drops oh god and then once i got enough in there i was like can i go to the bathroom now (laughs) because i really gotta pee (laughs) jeremy just filled it with semen (laughs) yeah that's right this is way easier guys yeah way easier (laughs) and and here's the thing my kids aren't on drugs either (laughs) I, i passed the test and he's pissed about it now he's like you made us go through all this and there was nothing wrong with your pee. <laughs> I, I mean, like, he was hoping, you know, we're not staying this late for nothing. It's like, well, we kind of are. I, you shouldn't have to do this. I, I, I blew a breathalyzer. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I'm in here for was drinking and driving, not uh, not doing drugs and driving. Not PCP. And, uh, and yeah. My- <laughs> However, how fun would that be? They would have <laughs> never taken me alive. <laughs> Oh, You're Jesus. like, I got this pumpkin, and I'm going to talk about it for uh-huh. an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to do that. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Jeremy Joseph puts a hell of a uh, one-man show on. He yeah. sure does. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? One titty hanging out. Overrated. It's chilly. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, when I get a breeze on that thing? Oh, no. I'm not talking about uh, you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were talking about me. I'm like, it gets chilly. Anytime I wear a fucking loose tank top. (laughs) There it is. That's that's overrated. Definitely. Yeah, you're right on that one. No, I'm talking about when when you you got a girl that doesn't have a fucking clue that her titty hanging out. Oh, that's overrated too. Yeah? Yeah, it's never the titty you want to see. Oh. No. It's it's never the one you're (laughs) like, oh. It will never be firm perky titty. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. It is sad floppy titty. (laughs) It will be because they are hanging out the bottom of her shirt. Yeah. It is the worst. It's like when you get titty money in the summertime. It's never like, oh, I'll take that five from you. It's, you, you, it's free. <laughs> you take those cools. You need them more than I do. A carton of cools. Mm-hmm. It's a hell of a gift these days. <laughs> you guys have convinced me otherwise. I'm going to go overrated as well. Oh, great. All right. It's one of the great... Uh, uh, Lonely Island songs, though. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Andy Samberg's. Uh uh-uh, uh, I haven't heard no. Girl, you got the look. <laughs> rolling up to the pate with one titty out. <laughs> one titty out. <laughs> okay. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Faking an orgasm. Here's the deal with that. Um, I've done it once, yeah. but I did it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. I, I was told that you were. I, I've come to find out you're supposed to, I guess, if you're a guy and you're doing it from the back, you just pull out and just kind of spit on their back a little bit. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. uh, I didn't do I spit on her face. (laughs) (laughs) I totally didn't fool her. I made all the right noises. I was like, Uh oh, God. Oh, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, we never saw each other again after that. that. I can't imagine why. (laughs) <laughs> Why is it yellow? <laughs> I, I was I had to take a drug test earlier. Yeah. Was a little bit of pee in there. Yeah. Uh, God, this is so overrated. It's like a fucking broken egg. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is, this is your come. Mm-hmm. This is your come on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> This is so overrated. I hate it whenever I, I've I've actually done it one time, and I don't recommend. Um, you spit in her face? No, I did not spit in her <laughs> oh, face. Oh, okay. Uh, but I hate I, I hate the fact that women do this to us. He spit in her puss. <laughs> <laughs> Creep <laughs> on. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, and I hate the fact that women do it to us. So yeah, I'm gonna go overrated as hell. They Jeremy, think we care. I know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why would I give a fuck if she did that? Yeah. <laughs> not me. It's not getting off. I've. I don't think I've ever had to do it. <laughs> if if I couldn't finish, it just well, I'm done. <laughs> and she wasn't at all hurt by that. Right. Yeah. When when I had to take that, uh, oh god damn it, that antidepressant, that it you can still perform, but you cannot finish and. Mm. I went way, way longer than <laughs> any human being probably should ever have to. And uh, just nothing worked. It was like, yeah, I guess we're done, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I was done a while back. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. She got funny. hers. All right. Uh, well, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. God, we're going long, but that's okay. Uh, obviously, same thing. If you have any suggestions, you can send them to us. It's not this often we have a special guest in studio like <laughs> this. This is yeah, true. Yeah, this is yeah. 100% true. Glad to have him back. Um, okay. I like this guest thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. Uh, first question. Remember when I was supposed to be a guest? <laughs> <laughs> Don't one. you fucking do this to me, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. First question. You drive by a house with men's clothes scattered all over the front lawn. And asshole is keyed into the car parked in the driveway. What happened? Oh, easy. MTV brought back Pimp My Ride. <laughs> Look, yeah. we know you hate closets. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Tourette's. <laughs> and your dad was an asshole. <laughs> so here's what we did, dog. <laughs> we took all your clothes and threw them in the yard. <laughs> and we wrote asshole yeah. On your driver's side door. Yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. We know how much you like ketchup and milk. <laughs> so we let some sit on the front porch in the sun in the summer heat for four days <laughs> and just painted the inside of your car. <laughs> oh God. Good luck. Yep. <laughs> um I'm gonna say uh this particular person went to a uh, uh vegan uh thing. And grabbed a steak, a sirloin, and uh-huh. n- nailed it to a fucking sign and said, this is murder. And then they found out that you weren't actually a vegan. Okay. And that, Oh, this that, is at my house? Yeah, this is at your house. Oh, oh. This is you. Okay. That's at your house, man. That's what happened. Fucking vegans are crazy. Yeah, they are. Jeremy? <clears throat> uh, I've never actually seen this happen but I've seen the movie Titanic, so I'm going to say a boating accident. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they Sounds fucked so. in the backseat of that car. I'm sure somebody keyed the door. Yeah, probably. It's probably in Lake Mead. Yeah, right. Probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. They've unearthed that now. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Next question. Name something pros do on a golf course that you would look silly doing in mini golf. Putter throw. Definitely. Bust out the driver. Sure. How about that club twirl thing that they do at the end of it? I'd say that you look goofy if you're. Is at this the, a new thing? I yeah. haven't watched golf in a little while. Yeah, club. They do a club twirl if they hit a great shot. It's just it's a tiger thing. Okay. How about you, Derek? Uh, golf cart. Yeah, damn, that's a good one. <laughs> that would be great. That would be. Everybody great. get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. God, that was a good shot. Yeah. You almost made a hole in one. Yeah. <laughs> on to two how about you jeremy well i was gonna go along the same line and say getting a caddy yeah yeah, yeah. but i'm gonna go the other way i'm gonna say teeing up your ball yes bust out the driver mm-hmm. no no still you still got to use that one club <laughs> okay but tee it up <laughs> and just whack the fuck out of it <laughs> Done that. Yep. Yeah, I'd done that at an indoor miniature golf range. Broke the blade right off that windmill? Holy shit. Absolutely. It was a tin shed. It was an indoor course. It was at All-Star Sports. Okay. But back then it was called Golf Park. 
and it was like a tin building, and it was like a space themed one. Okay. And there was sand all along the outside, and then you, there was the, all the putting greens and stuff. So did you and, have to bring a wedge too? No, no. Oh. Well, it turned into a wedge. <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, you. We brought our own balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were fucking laying into lost it. Lost a dozen. <laughs> oh shit! That astronaut lost his head. <clears throat> That's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I know. I've been. Yeah, there was the All Star Sports out west, right? Yeah. Yep. I've been there. I remember that. Okay. Next question. I, this is a fun question, and it's going to reveal something about all of us. I think. Do you put your shoes on by doing it this method? Sock. Oh, sorry. Sock. Sock. Shoe. Shoe. Or sock. Shoe. Sock. Shoe. I actually go. Shoe, shoe, sock, sock. Oh, really? Yeah, I like to. I don't like to get the bottom of my shoes dirty. Oh my! So that's that's how I go. I I wear Jordan, Scotty. I, this I'm is not true. trying to get dirt on my ice creams. That's true. So. That's true. I I think that if you put on <clears throat> sock, shoe, sock, shoe, I think you're a fucking psychopath. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe is the way you go, Jeremy. I go left sock, right shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Pants, <laughs> and then <laughs> the other sock and shoe. Right, but shoe first. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. That's and, the way to do it. It offers a challenge. Oh, God, that's crazy. All or right. sometimes yeah. I'll go flip flop, flip flop. Sock, sock. Yeah, I'll, I'll. Do you guys wear socks with slides? No, no, I don't. I do. Okay. Well, yeah, but your wife's Asian. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> She's rubbing off on you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, next question. I also wear a kimono, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just see Jeremy in a fucking kimono mm -hmm. doing samurai sword shit. That'd be awesome. Okay. Um, Offering to make the Nana cry. Yeah. Yep. Next question. Charades was ruined forever when my mom had to act out blank. The shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> It was the worst day of my life. <laughs> That's fucking great. You're just sitting there going like that. Yeah. And when it's your sixth guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I, just, I said 9-11. I think that would ruin it. How about you, Jeremy? Bull riding. <laughs> <laughs> she really worked those hips, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh, that's my favorite question so far. Uh, last question. What do old people smell like? Ben Gay, piss, and memory loss. <laughs> Damn it. That's, it's uh, a combination of all three. Yeah. What does memory loss smell like, you ask? That you forgot dinner was in the oven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or that you had to pee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I said piss because uh, they, they really fucking do. The, the people, the older people get, I swear, that it's just something that just comes out of their pores, and it's disgusting. How about you, Jeremy? Well, if it's anything like my grandparents, garlic? <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, my, my grandfather, garlic and onions on everything and salt. Oh, my God, the fucking salt. Really? Uh, when he was toward the end of his life, uh, they had to take him <clears throat> to the doctor, and uh, they stopped and got a, a burger at McDonald's, and he... Fuck cheese. He didn't want cheese. No, he just got a big vegan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why. He, gets, he, <laughs> he told you all about it. Dairy's murder. <laughs> <laughs> this guy would eat a cow raw. Okay. Oh. He's a, uh, and not in a sexy way. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I guess he took the bun off of it. My uncle said he took the bun off of it and just turned the patty white with salt. Oh. And it's like, those things are already fucking salty as oh, it is. Oh. But that's how bad he had killed his taste buds Ugh. with just salt and garlic and shit. Wow. That's, so, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you know, the other thing old people smell like, too, is like, you ever been going through your dresser drawer and you find a shirt that you're like, oh, I forgot I had that. It's been in there for like a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you just pull it out to wear it and it just smells weird. Mm -hmm. Musty. Yep. Yeah, they smell like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> oddly <laughs> enough, that's what Christmas ornaments smell like, too. <laughs> and they've been put away for yep. well, six months. <laughs> six six months. months. Yeah. You're being modest. Okay, guys, well, that is our questions for this week's episode. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the our, end. No, this is the laughing on the sidelines draft.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, it was a close one. Uh, Steve ended up uh, we- winning, eking it out, I guess. Uh, he beat me by one vote, and I am not an asshole that votes for myself. I'm not like Derek. So um, That's just because you fucking hate yourself. No, I love myself. <laughs> that's why, I love that's myself. why you don't do it. No. Um, but uh, So anyways, that means we're still going to do the customary thing. Uh, Derek is going to get first pick since he hasn't been here in uh, several weeks. Uh, I beat uh, Jeremy, so I get uh, the championship picks is how this is going to work. So uh, Jeremy will get the You know what that picks. tells me? Our fucking listeners don't know romance when they see it. <laughs> the Bull Durham is not a fucking rom-com. Doesn't matter. It's a shitty. one. I still had his. much better movies than you. Uh-uh, I had good ones. I even took your favorite. I. This is true. Which which one did you take? Chasing Amy. Chasing Amy. That's right. That's a fucking great movie. Uh, but anyways, guys. Uh, so this week's I'm fucking excited about this one. This week's draft is going to be our favorite '90s fads. Okay. Okay. So explain just, what you mean by this. Okay. So, so I can know what I have to stick to. So like um you know, like nineties things, things that are associated with the nineties, what people wore, what people did, what people bought, nineties fads. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. All right, fuck stick, you get uh oh that's that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh no, uh Dickhead. Derek. No. You're a dickhead. <laughs> That's what you are in my phone ass. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Uh, no. Derek, you get first pick. Go ahead, sir. I'm going to go with America Online. AOL. Yeah, that was that was chat rooms and all that good <clears throat> stuff. AOL. What was it called, though? America, America Online. Online. Uh, what, with the just the texting back and forth? What is that called? You're talking about AOL I Instant am. Messenger? AIM. AIM. Yeah, Instant yeah, there was AOL before there was AIM. Okay. AOL uh, was the whole... What would, was the internet provider? Yeah. I got you. You've okay. got mail. You've that got guy. It. Okay. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Jeremy, you get next pick. Well, the one thing that stands out in my mind, uh, tight rolling your jeans. Tight okay. rolling your jeans. Okay. Which, by the way, the actual official name of that, or maybe otherwise known as, oddly enough, pegging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it really I was. Pegging it your jeans. Yeah. Uh, okay. That was the first pegging that I, <laughs> I was enjoyed. Say, who'd have thought all these years later you're mm-hmm. still into it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to take uh, my 101 because it's still there. Uh, bring up jeans there, Jeremy. I'm going to bring back the Jinkos. Those giant fucking jeans. God. I wanted a pair so bad, but my mom was like, fuck, you look like a loser. And she was right. Yeah. And ironically, all jeans make you look like a loser. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I you am- look like a loser with or without pants. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Okay, and then I'm going to take my 102, and that is going to be the starter jackets. Yeah, that was going to be my next one. Yeah, you can't you can't get that one by me. I had the Bulls one. So, yep. Uh, all right, Jeremy, you what? get uh, your next pick. I'm going to stick with pants here, the MC Hammer pants. Oh, okay. yeah. It's hammer time. All right, dickhead, you get two. Uh, I'm going to go with grunge music. Okay. And, oh, gosh, there's so many. Yeah, there are. Let's go with, hmm, you really fucked me on starter jackets. I know. I know I did. I know you were going to take it, so I yeah, was surprised. Yeah, you really fucked me on I'm, that. I'm surprised you actually didn't take that first. Could I do? Could I use? Could I go with adoption jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was the big running joke. Oh man, I just found out I was adopted. <laughs> really? Yeah, that was the big thing, and then that and AIDS. I, I was alive in the night. I graduated in 1995. I mm. I lived those years. I drank a lot during those years too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I was adopted, so it wasn't a joke. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, Beavis and Butthead. Okay. All right, that's a good one. Beavis. All right. Jeremy, go ahead. British Knights. Mm. What is that? Shoes. Shoes. Oh, I didn't get that one. They were part of the the big three or four. Nike, Reebok, Adidas, and British Knights. Oh. As far as basketball shoes went, yeah. Wow. Okay. And then Converse. And then Converse. Yeah, Converse. The ones who started fucking basketball shoes were relegated to last place. Yeah. Uh, That's what ended up happening. Um. 
I am going to uh, go, go with you again on shoes. I'm following you now. I'm going to go with the Reebok pumps. I just got a pair. Did you? Mm-hmm. They're awesome, aren't they? Eh, they're okay. Vintage? Uh, no, they, re- they re-released them. Oh. Yeah, baby. All right. So let's see. Scotty's more. doing really good. So that means these last two picks he's going to have is just going to be fucking dog shit. They, they are. They're going to be shit. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and take Pogs. Yep. See, there they are. <laughs> what? <laughs> dog shit. <laughs> dog shit. Come on, man. Poop uh, of dog. <laughs> go ahead and go, Jeremy. Did you take two? Yeah. yeah. I took the Reebok pumps and then Pogs. Oh, I wasn't even listening. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the big blocky cell phone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like the Nokia brick. Big blocky cell phone <laughs> is what that was called. <laughs> the Zach Morris phone. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. Everybody had that fucking same house phone, too, the gray one mm-hmm. with the antenna that you had to stretch out. All right, Derek, do you get your last two? Baseball cards. Okay. I had, they also had, like, TV show cards, movie cards. There were cards for fucking everything. Yeah. It was, like, 89 or 90 when that big Reader's Digest story broke about that guy who had all of his old fucking baseball cards, and he sold them for hundreds of thousands of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had, like, Mickey Mantle rookie cards and shit like that and, and uh, Jackie Robinson cards and all that. And that's when people were like, oh, fuck, this is a thing. We're going to rush out and buy all the fucking trading cards we can. Yes. And now those cards are fucking worthless. It's called the junk wax era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't know if you'll let me take this. Okay. WWF wrestling. Oh, come on. That's still a thing. That was WWE now. It, it was a thing in the 80s, though, too. Yeah. yeah. So were Hulkamania was more 80s. I'm you think say. it was? I think it was. Well, That's when it started. Yeah. God damn it. Now you're going to make me pick something else. Yeah, absolutely I am. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, There's tons of them out there. I know there is. just don't want to go closed. You guys are all going closed. I'm not. My last pick's not going to be closed. Or close. Mm. <laughs> Let's go with... Ah! Fucking asshole. <laughs> Can I say Michael Jordan? <laughs> well, um, he did well in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, he, he made, kind of made a name for himself. A little bit. Uh, I'm going to go with, I'll go fashion this time. I'm going to go Doc Martens. Yep, that's definitely true. Are those not in fashion anymore? Uh, they're starting to come back they're, now. Yeah, they are starting to come back a little bit. As far as I'm concerned, I never went away. Uh-huh. All right, Jeremy, last pick for you. Malcolm X hats. Ooh, okay. Every white guy had one. Because <laughs> they didn't see the movie. <laughs> they just knew rappers wore them. Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and we all had that bootleg tape of Public Enemy music. Public Enemy t-shirts, that was a big thing. Yeah. I almost took gangster rap. Uh, you could have. Uh, that's Parental cool. advisory stickers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I've got quite a few um, that uh, that I could choose from, and I yeah. there's there's a, no you don't you you have a list on a cell phone is that's what you true. have you yeah. don't actually remember them. I actually didn't Not, pick anything off of my cell phone list. Yeah. I, I really didn't either. Uh, I, I dudes with perms. <laughs> God, I'm gonna be called a nerd if I just don't want to take it. But I think. It's fucking true, and it's blatantly obvious. But I'm I'm gonna go with Nintendo. That was the '90s, man. That was when the regular S or that was the regular NES came First out in the '90s. Around '87. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna go just with you Nintendo. had Sega, you had Super Nintendo, you had yeah. I'm just gonna go with Nintendo. You had PlayStation in the '90s. Oh yeah, yes. PlayStation came out in '94. I want to say I wasn't even out of high school in the first. I had there NBA was Live '97. Just video games. I there mean, was one that came out that never went anywhere, but had like really cool graphics for the time called the 3DO. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I haven't heard about that one. Yeah, I don't remember who it was that that put that out. I think. Huh. <coughs> Fine. Uh, anyways, yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Fuck Ninten- you, Scotty. Nintendo That's what games. I'm trying to say. Yeah, no kidding. It's a great pick. 
Um, but yeah, anyways, that is our draft for this week, ladies and gentlemen. I um, honestly threw all that shit out there because I thought you were done picking because once again, damn. I don't pay attention to I you. I sh- should have changed mine to video arcades. Yeah. That would have been yeah. way better. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just shopping malls. That was uh, more 80s. Yeah, yeah, but like fucking Furbies and Russian troll dolls. Big Johnson t-shirts. Yeah. Of that oh, one. yeah. Boy yeah. bands. Uh, uh, God. The, the, the one that I almost. Whip ass. The, can of whip ass. Yeah. The, Button your fly t-shirts. Yep. Remember those? Beanie babies. Yeah, Levi's Fuck. 501s. Yeah. The, the fucking Levi's with all the zipper pockets on them. Mm-hmm. Those were fun. Fanny packs. MTV slap bracelets. Oh, slap bracelets. That's a good one too. Um, Cheap sunglasses. But yeah, Beanie Babies was fucking huge. Uh, now they're worth nothing. I probably could have got AOL on the very last. You pick. definitely could have. Uh, you. Yeah, I wouldn't even. I don't even think of that as a trend. Yeah. How about Pokemon? What no. about that it? was that was the one that I was almost picked because I didn't. But I didn't really like it. I mean, I I collected the cards because I knew they were valuable. But other than that, that was I never more early two thousands. Was it? I I think so. Okay. I mean, well, like I Pogs. I remember Pogs when they came out, but they. I was in high school and they were for children. Yeah. I was a kid in the 90s. Should have yeah. should have had murdering good rappers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty big fad back yeah. then. Uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, you can go to Facebook.com and vote for your favorite list of 1990s fads. Small uh, rims and big tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, too. Uh, but whoever wins uh, the uh, the draft uh, gets championship picks next oh, week. Oh, oh. What? Remember on bras on cars? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was big. I had yeah. one on my Thunderbird. God, creepy crawlers. That just came into my head again. Overalls. I used to wear overalls. I never, I never got did. that. I, I never, never got yeah. that. I had one I guess, pair with the one strap undone. Yeah. Yep, I, I guess that. growing up in a place where people lo- wore them legitimately, yeah. <laughs> I never could get behind that as a fashion trend. <laughs> right. Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, yeah. That's another big one. Uh, skateboards. Yeah. Skateboards. Mm-hmm. Another big one. Uh, but yeah, guys, go. You know how hard it is to ride a skateboard in a town with no fucking paved roads. Yeah, really, really <laughs> difficult. Yeah, that's it's why you were the best of all time. I Jeremy. sure was. Kind of like driving a car through clay. You could have went to state. Yeah, <laughs> I could have. <laughs> I could have if only coach would have put me in fourth quarter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> no rules says a guy can't skateboard while no, playing football. Absolutely not. <laughs> Facebook.com <laughs> slash laughing on the sideline. Vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji, and that'll decide who the winner of this draft is. But now we get to move on to right. my favorite part of every single week. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, You know, on uh, July 10th, that's my son's birthday, uh, 2014, happy birthday to him, uh, Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City, Kansas, opened the Verrucht Water Slide. Everything about this place sounds like a fucking Nazi death camp, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of foreboding. Yeah. Um, at 168 feet, 7 inches, it was the tallest water slide in the world with a top speed of just over 70 miles an hour. Uh, uh, riders would ride it uh, by sitting on a small three-person raft, uh, one in front of the other. Um on August 7th of 2016, 10-year-old Caleb Schwab, who is the son of uh, Kansas State Representative uh, Scott Schwab, uh, boarded, his, boarded a raft. And uh, the way that it was supposed to work was the lightest person rides in the back. So the uh, heaviest person keeps the front down, right? Uh, despite weighing only uh, 74 pounds, he was allowed to sit in the front with uh, two other women. Uh, sound like a couple of winners. One weighed 275, the other 197. Uh, they didn't think they were the bigger ones, huh? Um, well, over the second hump, the raft went airborne and collided with a uh, metal netting support, which immediately decapitated young Caleb. Oh, uh, no. His whole family was watching, of course. Uh, the other two women riding with him did survive. However, uh, one got a broken jaw. The other had a fractured facial bone. But either way... Uh, it wasn't good, and uh, if you can believe it, uh, they shut the ride down, no and eventually the park closed down, too. But uh, now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, 
Please keep your hands and heads in the right at all times. <laughs> That's I, fucked up. I like sure to think. Is. I like to think that that fractured the what, what happened to the ladies? Fractured facial fractured bone. Facial bone. I like to think that that was from his head. Oh, oh God! <laughs> it very well might have been. Yeah. yeah I wonder if that kept her from eating. Maybe. <laughs> so lost She's, weight yeah, after that. That's that's the cheap way to have a lap band. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather only have dial-up internet, or you have to throw your cell phone that you have away and only have a pager? Oof. Yeah, it sucks. So dial-up internet too. Uh, clarify this: You cannot be on the phone. Yeah. If you're on the if internet. If you're on the internet. Correct. Which means that you now have to get a home phone. <laughs> <laughs> which, which means you just ca- recently cut the cord on. Which means your cable bill's cheaper. That's true. <laughs> yeah. No, mine just stayed the same. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I need I need my phone. I can't do the pager. I'll have dial dial up internet. That's fine. It'll just take a long time. It sucks. But at least every single time I turn that thing on, I get I get nostalgic, you know, noises. Oh, you do. And the but... rules of the of the game here are that while you're at home, you cannot be on your smartphone. No, nope. correct. No, yeah, that is that's correct. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine, dude, check this picture out. Hang on, give me like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna go with here the we pager. Go. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, is that your father-in-law's name? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going with the pager. Uh, I, yeah. I will take the pager and go at least with a with uh, was it? I can have regular internet. Yeah. So I will take a laptop and a pager. That's fine. I'll Skype. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. How about you, Jeremy? Yeah, I'll take the pager. Uh, I would much rather just be at home anyway. Yeah. I don't like going places. What do I need a fucking phone I can take with me? <laughs> I just need a computer to jerk off with. There you go. That's it. All right, guys. Well, pretty lengthy episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. How long did that go? Uh, long. Are we going long today, kids? Yeah, let's stretch okay. it. Stretch it. Even, yeah, let's, even, let's even see longer? if we can't get a three hour. Okay. Um, but no, uh, there are still lots of horse facts to talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> there are still uh, available tickets to the Laughing on the Sidelines live on October the twenty second. So now you sound up. desperate. No, there, I'm just saying there's not very many of them left. Uh, so def- if it's something that you do want to be a part of, please uh, go and check uh, check our link that we have out. Uh, we also released um, the idea that um, if uh, if you have any ideas for a draft of uh, such magnitude for that live show, and you are going to be at that live show, please go and comment in uh, the place that I made it for on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if we like your idea the most, um, Scotty will let you peg him. No. Uh, you will be you able to come. Jeans? Uh, yeah. Shut up, dude. As of right now, ass. guess who's winning? You're getting pegged? No. As of right what? now, guess who's winning? Oh, wait. I, I've sure actually wife. seen. Oh. Yeah, his wife I, had the I, best one. Gonna, I was going to say. Gonna peg you? No. That's awesome. I've seen some of the suggestions that we've gotten, and so far they are all tied for last place in my opinion. But <laughs> whatever. Uh, no, but yeah, I, let's let's bring Derek's wife up there. <laughs> yeah, peg, peg Scotty. <laughs> That'll be something no, different. No, uh, but you get to draft with us. So uh, again, if you are going to be at the show, even if you have multiple suggestions, yeah. bring them on. Uh, you know, we'll pick one eventually. Uh, and then Facebook stalk to you and make sure you're not a weirdo. And maybe we won't use it at the live show, but maybe we'll use it on a regular show. We'll give you credit if we do. Correct. That's that's definitely true as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, any any shows you got coming up, Derek? By any chance? No, I and I'm not doing shit. Not over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, again, guys, thank you very much for tuning into another excellent episode. Uh, continue to do what you are doing, and uh, well, you know, like what we always say, tell your friends if you like us, uh, and if you don't like us, uh, we hope you're on bathroom duty after I leave the Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, we have the meats. <laughs> until next time, so keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>